of months about our student can competition and it's a chance for young students in uh, middle and high school to make a video uh, taking a look at an issue of politics or an issue that is very important to them and then present it to us. Uh, we had a chance to sift through those video entries and a lot of them we got and we came up with a list of winners including one we got a chance to talk to last Friday. Hello? Mr. Raphael? Yes. Hi, Joanne Wheeler at C-SPAN. Uh, Thank hi. you. Hi. Thanks for calling back. Sure. I'm glad you got our message. We're so, so excited that you have two winners and, um, oh. and one of them, Nick Poss, is in your class right now? Yeah, he's right here with me. Oh, that's great. Well, Nick and Scott are two of our winners and they'd probably like to know where they ranked in our winners. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me first or do you want to tell him first? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we can tell you first. You were the faculty advisor, oh. nice enough to work with them on this. Yeah. Uh, they are actually our grand prize winners. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did it! You did it! All right. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I gave it away. That's okay! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, that took place last Friday. Let's give you a little context of actually what happened there. And joining us to help us do that, Meredith Rapp, of our education program specialist at C-SPAN. Could you tell us a little bit of exactly what happened and this contest that we've been talking about over the last few months? Sure. Good morning, Pedro. Yes, Student Cam is C-SPAN's annual documentary competition that asks students in high school and middle school to pick a topic of political interest, of national significance. And what they are to do is to create a 10-minute or less video documentary and they focus on the issue. What they are supposed to do is to present multiple viewpoints on that issue, which gets them to critically analyze the issue and incorporate C-SPAN programming into their documentary that helps address that issue. And then on Friday, we actually called all the winners of the top 27 27 winning entries and what you saw was actually us calling the grand prize winner in Jenks, Oklahoma and obviously they were very excited to find out that not only are they the grand prize winner but they won five thousand dollars for their efforts and we'll talk about that prize later in mm -hmm. 27 winning entries but how many entries total were there uh, this year we did receive 313 entries and we only award 92 winners and so from those entries, I know that they can pick a topic uh, relating to U.S. issues. Uh, what were some of the more common topics that were addressed? Well, the top three topics this year that we received was, number one, global warming, and then illegal immigration, and health care was number three. Our grand prize winner, however, did focus on religion, and their documentary, the issue was religion and government. And so, just to give you a little bit, that Scott Mitchell, Nick Poss of Jenks High School in Jenks, Oklahoma, their, uh, their uh, entry was leaving religion at the door. Here's a little bit from their entry. I'm a firm believer that religion and politics don't mix very well. And every time it does, uh, we get into trouble. For example, as a Christian, I can express my view, but imposing it in our country, I think, is not the right thing to do. People in politics need the vote when it comes time for election. And so many times they'll pander to certain religious groups so that they will then come out and vote for them. But what's good and what's correct for one religious group isn't necessarily good or correct for another religion. Meredith, Rab, can I ask you out of why this entry out of all the entries that um, that were submitted? Why is this the grand prize winner in your opinion? Wonderful question. Well, for us, this video showed multiple viewpoints on the issue. Uh, the two filmmakers, they interviewed somebody who represents the Jewish community, the Christian community. They also um, w represented uh, uh, people who represented Islam. And so for us, it showed multiple viewpoints on the topic, very objective look at religion and its role in government. And then also the technical quality, although we don't judge on technical merits. This, you can see creatively, they went f above and beyond to present their views in this documentary. One of the uh, winners in our middle school competition were uh, Alexandria Segova and Kristen Cuba of the eighth grade at the Immaculate Conception Catholic School. Meredith Rapp, what was their entry about? Their entry was about um, Cuba and the embargo with Cuba. And obviously today, how timely that is that they chose that as their topic. 
Uh, here is a bit from their entry. Universal health care sounds great. It sounds like it would be the answer to a lot of people's problems. But in countries which have um, utilized universal health care, uh, it's proven not to be very effective because it dilutes the system to, the to where the people who need it the most, you know, the sick people, uh, have to stand in line for long periods of time, sometimes months, to get the care they need. For those who can't afford the best health care, that's when the government should come in and subsidize on top. That was actually our uh, high school winner for uh, Should Health Care Be Universal? Wyland Rucker in the 12th grade at Clifton Ozen High School in uh, Beaumont, Texas. How much help can the entry winners, Meredith Rapp, get from teachers or parents or other adults? Well, students can use help. Uh, many students have faculty advisors on their project. Uh, however, adults and faculty advisors, they are there to advise and assist the students however they can. Also, students, uh, which this is another opportunity to get us working with our local cable affiliates. Since C-SPAN is funded by cable industry, um, the cable, uh, local cable affiliates will help out students as well. And that's another chance for us, especially when the winners are announced to work with the local cable affiliates to get out there and honor the students for their work. From Alabama to California, Colorado to Michigan, Pennsylvania to Massachusetts, even an entry from uh, Cairo, Egypt. Yep, even. yep. Um, tell us a little bit, if someone wanted to go, mm -hmm. watch the videos, find out more about these winners, where can they go? Any, we're asking everybody to check out our Student Cam website, and that website's address is www studentcam.org and you will see all the winning entries from this year. Videos now can be streamed, stream, start, excuse me, streamed and also downloaded uh, to your home computer. And also all the rules and the contest, the, the competition information is on that website as well. And also over the next few weeks we'll be meeting them personally? Yes, what's going to happen is starting April 1st, Tuesday, April 1st, we're going to start airing the top 27 winning entries. We're going to start with third prize and work our way up to the grand prize winner, one a day. So the grand prize winner will air on April 27th. And then what will happen is during the Washington Journal, the winners of each entry will be appearing in an interview about their documentary. So it gives the, our viewers a chance to see what young Americans really think about what's going on in our country today. Let me give you one more clip, an example they can see. This was uh, the one on Cuba from Alexandria Sergova and Kristen Cuba. I have your opinion on the Cuban embargo. Do you think it should be uh, lifted or should it continue? I think it should continue. What is your position on the Cuban embargo? 100% for it. I will vote for the president who's for the Cuban embargo. As a matter of fact, he who is not for the vote will never get my vote again. Because when the Cuban embargo gets taken over and gets lifted, the only people who will benefit will be the Cuban, will be the government. The Fidel Castro will get more money in Switzerland, not the Cuban people. The Cuban people are actually starving to death, not because of the Cuban embargo. Europe doesn't have a Cuban embargo. Latin America doesn't have a Cuban embargo. Canada doesn't have a Cuban embargo. So what embargo are you talking about? Just from the United States? Guess what? They're not getting my dollars. If they want my dollars, they can go to someplace else. Meredith Rapp, one more question. What do you think students gain from this whole experience? Well, students are able to look at an issue, and instead of just presenting a documentary where they're able to give their opinion only, they have to critically analyze the issue. And we believe that that is so essential for those students who are going to be becoming voters and then actually running the country eventually, for them to look at an issue and critically analyze it. Meredith Rapp serves as the Education Program Specialist here at C-SPAN. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Pedro, and thank you to all the student cam winners and everybody who entered. And again, one more time, if you are interested in finding out more about the program and the contest, uh, the website you can go to to find those videos, learn more about the project, studentcam.org, a program of C-SPAN. Now to open phones uh, for the final uh, 20 minutes or so of our program, the lines will be on your